All right, testing. One, two, three. All right, looks like it's working now. Hello, this is Larry for KF5 MLP. And the fine people at Anytone and uh, Bridgecom Systems sent me this radio. It's an ATD168UV. Now, I've already opened it up and used it a little bit. The problem was is my recording didn't work, so I have to start over. So kind of forgive me for the... Uh, the opening of this because I did it beginning when it was totally out so what we're going to do is open this up and in this box if I can get it open all right we've got a user manual and it's really a, a, a nice manual it's got all kinds of things in there that you need and to understand then you have the radio itself and I've already put on the belt clip as you can see so the belt clip is on there and we'll lift this out now there's a couple of different antennas in here one of the antennas is a real long one and this is a nice antenna okay this is a nice antenna it's a little bent from being in the box but it's a beautiful antenna and then I've been using to test it and whatnot I went out in the yard I've got this smaller antenna that I've used and we'll just screw that right here onto the top of this radio. Now this also has a drop-in charger. This drop-in charges with a USB-A to USB-C and it's really a nice charger. Now this is the, the wires that come with it or the cable uh, there's the USB-C and there's the A. So this is really nice. You can plug this into the back of here and charge it up. And you can charge up the battery on it. It's got its own wall wart. It comes with a wall wart. And this will be a USB-A. So you can just plug this right into here. And there you go. You can plug it into the wall drop your batteries in there and you can charge them up this has got two batteries this has a 2600 milliamp battery and it has a 1800 milliamp battery both batteries are real nice batteries they're clean they snap right into place I've had no problem putting them in we'll put one I've been using this larger one and I'll just open that up and then you put the battery back there and then you just slide it into place and now the battery's in there this other battery I can take and drop it in this charger and it'll start charging as soon as I plug it in you can also use the charger cable the USB A and, and uh, whatnot you can plug it right here on the side port and plug it in here and I'll plug this into my computer and you'll be able to see the light turn red that means it's charging now I'm charging the battery right in the uh, in the radio there we go I'm charging the battery while it's on the radio I can turn it on and it goes out and now it's booting up I don't know if you can see that or not. There's my call sign. I've programmed it. I've put in all the call signs. I've put in my code plug. I uh, updated the firmware. It's a really a nice radio. So now we're going to unplug this. We'll close this side cap. Okay. And I don't know if you can hear it. Let's see if anybody comes on here. This is a 3100 that's talking. Now this is a real nice radio. It has quite a few features in it, just like the 878 UV2 Plus, and this is my UV2 Plus, and it is a great radio. It's just this one does not have as many features as this one. For instance, it does not have GPS and it doesn't have Bluetooth for instance but it does have quite a few others as you notice the screen KY4 BPA listening okay the screen is a little bit some of the icons aren't there that you get with the 878 UV2 plus but this is a nice nice radio 
and I recommend it to anybody that wants to get a radio.